it is a nice long walk and I think the video would be too long if I try to film the whole thing but just a second ago see you miss and you're always missing the best parts when you walk through the neighborhood which the neighborhood is still quite far from the store for me uh, yeah kid sitting on the back of the bike <laughs> he said hello I said hello back smiled <laughs> as I pass he's talking to his little friend on the back of the bike with his mom there too <laughs> so he's like a real a real foreigner a real well yeah a real ink a real British man <laughs> that's not true obviously but uh man it was cute I wish I got out that on film but uh hello I don't think I can film all the way there so so from what I remember watching these videos back and editing them a little bit I do the cars aren't nearly as loud as they seem to me so I'm gonna try to just make this happen right here and uh, answer some suggestions I had from my Tayo 5 because I really appreciate any kind of comments about things you want to know here gives me an opportunity to to make a video and show you guys around at the same time so he said some of the topics would be interesting were accommodation entertainment uh, housing I think was another one visas talk about a couple things so first one I'd say is I'll talk about visas we're almost to the shop visas it's gonna cost you like 40 bucks the first time you come through Prepare that in cash, dollars. That's what they want. You're gonna just cause yourself unnecessary grief if you don't do that. Bring your, bring photos. Uh, you might luck out, but if not, then it's just a hassle. So bring it. You can extend your visa two times here. Don't quote me on this. This is stuff that I've recently learned and I have not done myself. Uh, because I have a, a one-year visa a one year so those two extensions are gonna cost about the same 40 bucks you can extend it here in the country I just recently read about this and the groups here in Laos are super super helpful so if you want to have, get any information probably more than you're asking for add yourself into the Facebook groups the like the travel, backpacking, all those, and you'll get more answers than you can even handle, honestly. All the long timers here are the biggest fans of this country, and everybody will answer your questions so you can get up to date information. Uh, for now, I'd say it's about $40. You can extend twice through immigration here in the country from what I've seen recently. Also, you can get a one year visa, it's pretty easy. I. You just go through, you go through an agency, they get you the letter, you come through immigration. So if you're here, you're gonna have to go back through and come back in. Uh, to Thailand, you don't have to fly. So you just go across the border with, with the letter or if you're, over, if you're not in the country, you, you get the letter, come across the border with the letter from the agency, then give your stuff to the agency and they will get your one year visa done. One year, should be one year multiple entry and that's like five to seven hundred dollars depending on how smoothly i guess it all goes um now if you get a visa through your school it'll cost them probably like three i think around three hundred dollars if you work for a company here or a school and yeah they'll handle all that stuff for you so there you go let's go in the shop i always like this when i watch people's vlogs about living somewhere because this is what you see in real life even though it's weird for me to do this <laughs> you got to get used to it right so we're looking for lotion and and shampoo oh not shampoo conditioner lucky enough if you're familiar with thai products most of the products here are from thailand which that's another video i don't understand why at this point i can understand the past maybe they didn't have the infrastructure or the, they weren't capable of doing it but now uh well, luckily it's all in English. Helps if you read Thai though. So I just need conditioner. 
and yeah cheap conditioner for now it is back home yeah i know where to get good stuff but i do not know here so i don't want to pay a ton sun silk classic Hi. yeah not home all right then we need some lotion but i think i got lotion here last time i usually can only use like johnson's that's the one i like the baby lotion <laughs> y'all if you don't know how to use lotion you need a good woman in your life to teach you if your folks didn't teach you because you need to stop itching yourselves and feel the comfort of lotion i hope i have some you can't live without that after the shower man do i gotta be careful I just don't like these other ones man it johnson's or that french brand all right we out of here uh, i know what i'm gonna do walking down to J Mart where I can get some actual lotion. <laughs> housing in Lao. Do not trust anybody that wants to say they're your friend and are helping you. Everybody is getting a finder's fee, which I have no problem with. This is Asia. This is how it works out here. It's a good thing, you know. It's a way everybody can make money on things too. It's just like you know, finding and connecting people with the things that they're looking they're looking to buy or sell. However, you gotta be careful because when you rent a home, yes, they should get a percentage right off the bat from the seller. If they say, just pay the rent to me and I'll take care of it and pay the landlord, they're robbing you. <laughs> They have negotiated probably what the realistic rent should be, and they're taking a huge, huge amount on top of that. Because the rent should be, I mean, what are you looking for here? Around, no way it's more than 300 bucks. We're in Vientiane. You can get a little house uh, outside the city center, of course in the city center it's a different story but you still can find places to rent for 300 bucks now if you want a very nice western uh, level accommodation yeah you might be paying four or five hundred but definitely not more than that yeah and that would get you like anything a very nice home a very nice apartment and all western standard you know, decoration bedding the toilet everything now if you're okay with living in a Lao apartment or house then it's quite a bit cheaper you shouldn't be paying more than probably 300 dollars and anything outside the city center you're going to be talking under 200 for sure. All right, yeah, around 200. 
And it just depends on how nice they are outside, but like a standard little uh, house, small little farmhouse or something like that. Now, if you're getting into like duplexes and like just rooms in places, you can get even cheaper than 200. You can get 50, it's crazy, I know, but there are even little tiny places for $50 that I, I don't know, those ones, if I'd recommend, just cause you're probably going to be living uh, in with an area that, I don't know if you could trust your stuff not to get stolen. And it's not because people are bad people, it's because that's how broke people are out here. I, I, I'm, yeah, I know people shouldn't steal, but like, you put yourself in that spot and you have a couple hundred dollar computer or a motorcycle or all that stuff and these people make, uh, a lot of people are making a hundred or hundred fifty dollars for, for a whole month. Yeah, that's probably the spot you want to be, unless you're like very, local uh, and have close friends there or something even then so other than that it's not like it's not safe super safe here uh, just at a hundred dollars you're probably gonna be okay so 100 150 dollars for lower end and that, like my place is that price range guys I I mean, I am kind of living on the farm there, so probably should be cheaper, but uh, anyhow. Uh, we share like utilities and I got internet, fast internet and do everything I want. It slows down a bit with doing this YouTube stuff and editing and all that, but uh, other than that, yeah. That's like 150, between 150 and 200 bucks you can find something like that. So there we go, accommodation, check. Again, just, if you need help, let me know. Obviously, I'm not claiming to be an expert. I've only been here a year. I, if I couldn't help you, then maybe somebody else could help you that can trust. Uh, but just, yeah, don't get in with somebody that's trying to get you to pay them and then they'll pay the landlord so a lot of times like when you're here people, it sounds like it's normal and it sounds like the right thing to do because actually sometimes people don't want to sign a contract with the foreigner so a lot of people are transients you know and you can't trust that they're gonna stick around so they need a guarantor guarantor <laughs> I don't know it's not coming off off my tongue so you need somebody to guarantee that they're gonna get paid. And oftentimes, if a loud person steps up though, you just have to make sure that you've negotiated the price with the landlord and are aware. Because they could be charging you $300 a month and then only giving, giving the landlord 150. So you're literally paying 150 bucks to this person every single month. Like, yeah, it doesn't feel very, very nice. So just, Contact people that you can trust. Don't fall for that one. All right, we're at the next shop. Maybe I can get some good lotion. Let's see. I'm finally hungry. Good man. Can I get lotion here? I swear it had to be here. Okay, I've got it. Snap, I just realized how dark it was. You know how the video's doing. Hmm, where is this stuff? Hold on, man. A lotion you you tell me. Hot water. Okay. 
can't steal it. Am I blind? Yes. Somebody help me out. I'll talk. There it is. Wait. Shansons. Pamper me like a baby. Look at this. I wonder if they get copyrighted for this horrendous music that is a plague of Asia at the moment. I love Lao. I love you guys all over Southeast Asia, China, Vietnam, Thailand, but what the hell? There's literally no creativeness to this music whatsoever. There's no highs or lows. It's just like, it's been ramped up to 1,000 constantly. And it's unfortunate because it's what they like to, instead of like the classical music that uh, like you'd usually play for the new year, a lot of times it's blast, bl blasting, blasting <laughs> this. So anyhow, we got what we need, we're waiting in line. We gotta do a price check or something. So let me pay. One second, and we'll be back. <laughs> 